सो हाई गाइज एंड वेलकम टू येट अनदर अनबॉक्सिंग एंड रिव्यू वीडियो ऑफ दिस एडिडास एस पी एक्टिव फोर यू डबल एस रैकेट दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट एडिडास रैकेट विच हैव टेकिन एंड दिस कैन बी सेट एज अ टेस्ट रैकेट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू कन्फर्म इफ एडिडास रैकेट्स आर वर्थ बिकॉज आई प्लेड क्रिकेट एंड आई थिंक एडिडास बैट्स आर वर्थ मनी बट लेट सी इफ एडिडास रैकेट्स आर वर्थ नॉट ओके सो आई गॉट दिस रैकेट फॉर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड रुपीज एज आई मैंशन एंड आई हैव हर्ड पीपल सेंग दैट दे गॉट दिस रैकेट फॉर अराउंड वन थाउजेंड रुपीज इन द सेल पीरियड सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन योर लव इन नाइसली रैप्ड ओके नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्कवर थिंग सो फ्रिजी आई मीन First, let's take out the racket, and then we'll. You can see the cover. I mean, if you're looking for protection for your racket, this cover is not for you. I agree that the brand of Adidas and the color of this cover it's fine, but it will uh, surely increase the social question, but not about the protection. And for a good badminton player, they will require the protection for the racket. So zero marks. to this cover now on to this racket the beautiful racket you can see the color i've ordered a or orange variant and you can see how beautiful this racket looks it's nicely wrapped this paper foldable okay so now talking about the mrp the mrp is written as 3499 rupees but as i've mentioned i got this for 1200 rupees and this is made in a china product so if you're a fan if you're not a fan of made in china products this racket is not for you and you can also check the authenticity of this racket by scratching this portion and going to the website you can know the authenticity now talking about the grip size this is a g5 grip size uh, so it won't uh, actually it's not a problem for you holding a g5 grip it's okay now on to the weight the weight of this racket is 83 grams but with this uh, paper foil i think the weight is increased but if you remove this the weight of the racket will be 83 grams and that is good for you that is good for any player now talking about the head shape the head shape is oval and let me tell you the oval shaped racket they won't uh, have a you 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 know a great sweet spot reason being the horizontal and the vertical strings they are not equal in size so you won't get a good sweet spots like a isometric frame so head head shape uh, oval shaped racket but in the oval shaped racket you get a good play area so uh, if uh, you you can't miss the shuttle because some part of the racket some edges will just uh, took out took on the shuttle and you can actually return a shuttle so you get a good play area in the oval shaped racket this is one merit of this but the only demerit is you won't get a good sweet spot so but that's not a pro problem for a professional player because uh, you know professional players play with a racket around 20 to 30 lbs also going up as high as 32 lbs so, so they have a very uh, less sweet spot but uh, they are very accurate with their shots so that's not a problem for them so but talking about uh, the type of this racket surely this is not a professional racket so i think professionals will not be very glad getting this racket now uh, the playing level of this racket i will say that uh, this is a beginners racket it is mentioned that this is a intermediate racket but not uh, so depending on the space where you play like if you play in a badminton court proper badminton court i am very sure that this racket won't offer you much of the power but if you are playing outdoors in a cemented or on a muddy surface this racket will do the job for you because outdoor factors also influence your play so if you are playing in a badminton court this is a beginner racket for sure but if you are playing Uh, in a mud court outdoors for fun only 
uh, this can be set as the intermediate racket if you play with a 500 rupees racket and play with this racket surely it will benefit you but for a professional player who is playing in the court if you are playing with any series of uh, above 2000 rupees because if you choose yonix racket at least you will go for yonix 89 uh, for the court and if you are playing uh, with a racket over 2000 rupees and you go with this racket you will surely know the difference why this is not a intermediate racket for the court players surely beginners can go with this if i am talking about the beginners who are just beginning their badminton sessions in the court and they want to take a racket uh, this can be preferred now talking about the string tension uh, the string tension in this racket is around 22 lbs and you can go up as high as 28 lbs but i would recommend you to go at 26 lbs and you can actually go for bg65 because this racket is not offensive this is a defensive racket so going for bg65 will do the job for you you can also go for bg66 but as i said this is not a offensive racket this is a defensive racket so bg66 won't do much for you and you will end up um, getting your game smashed I think your game uh, will not improve only it will degrade if you go for uh, some offensive strings so here was, was my take for the strings and now uh, talking about the this uh, thing this is a this shaft is of carbon and graphite and this material the frame material is also of carbon and graphite so it's pretty good in the 1200 rupees range uh, you are actually getting a carbon and graphite material so that is also very good and i would really recommend you if you are a beginner so hope you like my video and this was just my take on an adidas racket i have played from this racket before on the outdoor courts and it will uh, surely do the job for you so hope you liked it if you did liked it Please subscribe to my channel because I will be coming up with more unboxing and review videos. Till then, keep playing, stay safe. Please don't forget to wear your mask. Bye bye for now.